So we're having a wee wander through the gardens tonight. It's uh, about half five at night. That's the old um, concert venue. I actually went there once uh, at New Year. See a few bands. It's absolutely Baltic. So I've not really walked uh, through the gardens before. We're well, not for years that I can remember. So yeah, quite a nice place just for a little stroll. And this must be the old war memorial. Now there used to be a floral clock in Princess Street Gardens. Um, I remember coming here years ago and seeing it, but I think, if I remember right, it's not there anymore. So I'm going to try and see if I can find the site of where it was. I'm sure it used to be just there. Or maybe there. This is the old uh, Edinburgh University. It's amazing what you find, you just turn down a wee side street, walk through a wee kind of archway and here we are, hidden away from the world. Beautiful buildings. Thousands of light bulbs seem to lit up at night, so I'm going to come back and see what it's like. Holyrood Palace there, and that's looking up towards Arthur's Seat. So I might go up there later on. There's some really um, ancient graves here. And a big one just standing right there, but you can't really get up to it. And all these rocks here are named after parts of Scotland. Some space here I can find. Angus. Look at this fife. It's the city of Dundee. Perth. Angus. That's how we go, that's the Angus. Angus Rock. It's actually weird to think that the Commonwealth Games were held here twice in the 1970s and the 1980s. And also this is home of uh, Major Bank Thistle who no longer exist. sister actually sat just there somewhere, but there's big stands all the way around. Now down there is the old uh, platform for Meadowbank Stadium, 
and that was used for the Commonwealth Games. The trains would come in and you would walk up there and into the stadium just there. And I think that's what myself and my sister did. Walked up there, remembered it well. It's a bit weird looking back at the London Olympics and the, the Commonwealth Games which are coming on in Glasgow shortly. How tiny this actual whole stadium is and how backward it is compared to the technology of today. So that's where you would come up there. As you can see it's all derelict now. And into the stadium through there. That's the famous scoreboard. And that final bend there. Been a couple of classic races around there. Stadium rising. The first time the 10,000 metres for women has ever been run in the games. Here on Scottish soil. Well, I came across this weird looking thing in the middle of a housing estate. There's some kind of gothic structure to these people here. A bit bizarre. <laughs> 